I was three years old and I saw a black crayon and I went crazy and I drew all over the white walls in our house when we lived in California and my mom comes out of the kitchen and she's like, oh my god, and so she had to um, basically repaint the whole wall because it wouldn't come off. Um, and then a couple years later I got a hold of a drawing utensil and I drew this picture and she was like, wow, my daughter's an artist. Okay. Stephanie Campbell is a 27-year-old artist living in Reno, Nevada. She has loved art all her life, learning that she has a natural talent at a young age. Since then, Stephanie has tried out all kinds of mediums in the art world. I decided that I wanted to do a lot of different types of artwork, so I started painting, um, I started playing with ceramic sculpture, I did metalworking for a long time too, which was cool, um, so I know how to weld and stuff. Um, the only thing I never really got into was photography. Her largest project to date is a bedroom mural for a couple living in an incline village. They wanted to visualize the Tahoe lifestyle on their boring bedroom walls. Last year I was on vacation and I was in the car with my friend and we were just driving around Denver and uh, I get this random phone call from this girl that I kind of knew during college. She was just an acquaintance. She said, hey, Stephanie, um, you know, it's been probably about three years since you and I have talked, but I just wanted to let you know that um, there's these people that I work with up in Tahoe that are looking for someone to paint a mural in one of their bedrooms. And I was like, okay, that sounds really um, intimidating. I've never done anything like that, but sure, um, go ahead and give them my number. Um, but I absolutely love that room, and it's sad to me that I don't actually get to see it that often. Um, but I did document it as much as I could, and I, I posted a lot of it on my Instagram page, and um, it's brought me a lot of really positive recognition, which I've been super, super thankful for. But, yeah. Paintings definitely speak to me, though. Like, they tell me what to do, what not to do, usually after the fact. <laughs> They're like, oh, you shouldn't have done that. So, thanks for telling me. Stephanie graduated from Sierra Nevada College with a Bachelor's of Fine Arts, but things didn't go as expected once she entered the real world. I think what's ended up happening is real life hit me after I graduated, and my fantasy or idea of, you know, working at a nonprofit arts place for a few years and put that on my resume and, and gain experience in working for a nonprofit. Um, and then I wanted to work at the art museum for a long time too. There were just a lot of things that I still really wanted to do after graduating. And none of it really came together in the way that I always planned or envisioned. So I had to really come to terms with what is it that I want out of my life in this age that I'm in. Now, Stephanie works as a realtor with her mom. While this isn't quite a job for an artist, she looks to those who inspired her. You know, the final push I think for me to become a real estate agent was um, I researched online one day famous artists that kept their day job and there were a lot of artists that I really respected and have learned about in art history and I just thought they were really um, important in terms of where we are today in society and they've helped guide us with their work and I saw a lot of them worked really really boring day jobs for their whole lives and so um, I decided that me being a real estate agent wasn't going to kill me. <laughs> might actually help me um, be able to buy a house someday, maybe even buy a warehouse and make some sort of business out of it. So I started trying to think proactively instead of fighting it. Um, and I think it's actually put me in a really good path because I've met so many people because of it. Yeah. She doesn't know what is in store for her in the future, but for now she is happy with where she has ended up. At this point all I want is like small projects here and there, um, and then I'd like personally to be able to go to art residencies and things like that and meet other artists and network and push myself as an artist to make things that I wouldn't have conventionally thought that I could make or that I would think is cool. Um, so I want to expand myself there and grow personally. But I'll have to think about it more. I honestly just don't think about it. Yeah. Yeah.